I'm going to let you in on some information that the multi-channel network known as Machinima doesn't want you to know. And that's because this video may cost them a lot of money because most of their partner content creators aren't aware of this. And if they found out about this video, which by the way, I recommend sharing just so more people see it because I don't like seeing people getting screwed out of money ever. I do a lot of videos about this. This is probably my biggest one so far, and I'm not going to be surprised if Machinima, who is tied directly with YouTube, they have a lot of money, millions of dollars, lots of investors, are able to shut this video down. But you know what? I'm going to say it anyway. And if Machinima does shut this video down, I might pay them a visit in real life. I've driven past your headquarters before. I will do it again, but this time the destination will be your headquarters and I will make a video about you in person. So manage with me from many, many miles away because I really don't feel like buying a plane ticket and having to take care of business, but I will if this video gets shut down. Anyway, anyway let, me, let me get to the point. I'm not a lawyer, first of all, so I'll take any of this as legal advice. This is just my opinion based on business dealings and based on what I've dealt with with contract law, but you cannot take my advice for personal legal advice. I'm not your lawyer, so this is just opinion. If you have a contract with Machinima and they aren't replying to your messages, if they're not helping you to promote your channel and you see zero growth between the time that you signed up with them and before that, you can get out of that contract. They're not holding up their end of the agreement. And that is grounds for what's known as premature termination. That is contract law in a nutshell. If one side bargains and the other one is giving them what the other one was bargaining for, and in this case, you're giving them a percentage of your YouTube revenue in exchange for whatever is laid out in the contract. And that's really the key piece of information. What is in the contract? Hopefully, you got whatever bullshit they said they would do with you, you know, helping them, helping you promote your channel and getting sponsors for you and, you know, having somebody help with this and that. If they didn't do all that part of the agreement and you don't like what's going on, if you feel like you're getting screwed over, you can get out of that contract. Absolutely, you can. You can. And the best part is because Machinima is based out of California, they have some of the fairest laws when it comes to this type of thing in the entertainment industry. So do it. Get out of your contract. And if they try to stop you from it, you can hire a lawyer for not that much money, get them to send them a letter. Once they see a lawyer is involved, a lot of times they will say, okay, we're just going to cut our losses and that'll be done. Again, this is not legal advice, but opinion based on my experience with contract law. And that's really all you got to present is what was the agreement and did that person breach the agreement? And if they're not emailing you, if they're ignoring you, if they're not promoting you, if, if they're not doing this and that, if that's all in the contract, you can absolutely get out of the contract because of breach of agreement. Hey, Michael McCrudden, I asked you a very simple question and you didn't answer it on Twitter or on YouTube. So now I'm going to get your attention by making this video. It's a very simple question that I'll ask again. All of those movie clips that you have in your videos that are irrelevant to the video topic, do you have a license to use those movie clips? Because if you don't, you should expect a lot of your videos to get taken down. The usage of those clips in that context do not fall under fair use guidelines. And not only could you get your videos shut down, you could owe big time movie studios a lot of money. So my suggestion to you is answer my question honestly. Did you get a license to use those clips? And if you did, guess what? I might just be contacting a few of those movie studios lawyers just to troll you a little bit because you tend to troll other people. So I think an eye for an eye, 
leaves the whole world with four eyes or something like that. 